This is Mark with Mark's Locksmith, and one of the main goals of this channel is to help consumers make better decisions. When I saw the thumbnail and title of this video that was posted by Lockpicking Lawyer, I just had to look at it. After looking at it and listening to the false statements he was making about mailbox locks and the law, I just go this. <laughs> I was thinking, was this just a clickbait video just to get money? I have reasons to believe so because the information in the video is false. It's like he's clueless of what's going on with mailbox lock. So you can't always believe what the lock picking lawyer is telling you. And in this case, he's telling you false statements. You bad man! You very, very bad man! Lock picking lawyer is telling everyone that you must use this lock if you live in an apartment building or a housing complex that uses centralized mail receptacles. This is a false statement. Over the many years as a locksmith here in southwest Portland, Oregon, I have removed and installed many types of mailbox locks for apartment buildings, condos, residentials, and businesses. A few times I would have people just walking by as I was removing a customer's mailbox lock and tell me that what I'm doing is illegal. Some people say that the lock is owned by the post office. Again, this is not true. It's not against the law to replace your own mailbox lock. It's your mailbox lock. This one time when I was with a customer outside her apartment removing a mailbox lock, a guy upstairs in her apartment complex was yelling out his window at us and telling me that what I was doing was illegal. I just told him to call the police and he did. Four officers showed up. I knew one of the officers from another job I did a year ago. All he did was check my ID and the owner's ID and off they went that fast. Less than a minute and I was back drilling the lock. You can have any type of mailbox lock that you want, providing that it will fit in the hole. Lock Picking Lawyer says this. But what happens when the government doesn't let you make a good decision? Our government doesn't care what type of lock you use for your mailbox. Lock Picking Lawyer says this. What happens when they tell you this is the lock that you must use and the lock isn't particularly impressive? Our government doesn't care what type of lock that you use for your mailbox. Lock Picking Lawyer says this. Well, that's exactly what's been going on for the last 15 years. If you live in an apartment building or housing complex that uses centralized mail receptacles. Lock Picking Lawyer is again wrong about his statement. Mailbox locks have been around for more than 15 years and there are many different types of mailbox locks that you can buy. You don't have to buy the lock in his hand because it may be the wrong lock for your mailbox. I think the lock in his hand is a C9100 because it turned clockwise after he picked it. It looks like it has a cutout on top of the lock. The new mailbox locks like the C9100 and the C9200 by Comex were produced around 2007 or 2008 is that these locks would be harder to turn with pliers because of the cutout on top of the lock providing that it is installed in the right mailbox receptacle. Not all mailbox holes are the same. For a year or two in 2007 or 2008, the post office would not let locksmiths buy these types of locks, the, the C9100 and the C9200. These are special mailbox locks. Back then, only postal workers can install or replace these types of locks. Now, anyone can buy these special types of mailbox locks. Lock Picking Lawyer says this. Each mailbox must be secured by a lock compliant with regulation USPS-L-1172C. Compex, the manufacturer of this lock, is I believe the only authorized manufacturer. And if you don't have one of these, the mail carrier isn't allowed to deliver your mail. Lock Picking Lawyer is again wrong about his statement. There are 
many different mailboxes that use different mailbox locks. There is one other lock manufacturer that produces this type of lock. If you know what it is, please leave in the comments below. The second lock manufacturer is cheaper than complex. I'm not going to tell you because you need to do your homework. Nobody knows what lock he is talking about and a lot of people don't know what kind of lock is on their mailbox. It all depends on the hole for the mailbox lock. Your mailbox lock is not owned by the post office or our government. While I am picking these two mailbox locks, just wanted to let you know that my channel does not get any money from Google YouTube ads. Google disabled my AdSense account, so this is why you don't see that many videos on my channel. So with that said, feel free to leave comments, but if I don't like it, I'll just delete it. Be nice. Here are other lock picking websites that carry the same lock picking tools as covert instruments. These are just to name a few. In any case, that's all I have for you today. I have only one thing to say to you today. It's a jungle out there. You gotta look out for number one, but don't step at number two.